Okay, let's take a look at covering a wanger flange style dome. Now it's exact. It ends up with exactly the same geometry as a bevel frame or a, the two frequency dome. Take a look at the plans. I'll get the plans out shortly. This is not the same geometry as most uh, two frequency domes you'll find on the internet. This has been optimized for covering this way. Um, so it doesn't really work on uh, a, a two frequency off of the internet. But don't worry about that because uh, plans for this dome uh, in Wanger Flange, Wanger Flange construction are free. So you can just go and download them and use them. Uh, it's got um, three different strut lengths. Uh, super easy to build. Right. The bevel frame we cover um, three panels at a time. Uh, at maximum because the reason for that is because you can cover three panels with a flat sheet of polythene with no folds so what we have to do is we have to cover um with in a slightly different way but it has some advantages that's the cover we're looking to create but if we look from above you'll see that uh, this is the canvas layout instead of having having smaller pieces we have longer pieces. Now all of these uh, pieces here can be cut from a flat sheet of polythene, canvas, whatever you choose. So this 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 is a flat. Now you, you would have a, a, a red pattern and a yellow pattern. And all you do is you um, draw out uh, red, red, yellow, red, 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 yellow, red, yellow, etc onto your canvas so that gives you the correct size if you're covering with polythene you just have to get the polythene roughly this size it could be a bit bigger would it doesn't really matter so we end up with seven flat pieces of uh, canvas or polythene to work with and we're going to take those seven pieces and cover the door first piece we're working right to left so the uh, the piece on the on the right far right is attached to the bottom section of the dome and it's a slightly segmented shape you'd call it if I uh, think of polythene to start with um, you can see that uh, that's the shape we're trying to cover and if you look at the line that's a straight line so we simply pull the can pull the canvas or polythene tight across the two yellow sections with the points, pull that as tight as you can, and if you're using polythene, you must warm it up, um, and then you staple it on. You can then trim after. Repeat the operation. The piece with the door in is exactly the same as the other side, but it just has the door cut. So you've got two pieces there, but they're exactly the same shape as the right-hand side. Yeah, you would just stretch that, warm it, and uh, staple it. Now the next layer, we have to. Um, Trim the, the first one, and this is more like a strip that goes round. It's the uh, this strip here. So that strip is then tacked around. It's a flat uh, a flat sheet, but it will fit all the way around with the with the correct cuts. So then you trim along this edge again, staple that, and that would be your uh, line that you would um, tape over. Again, it's exactly the same process on the other side. This dome is a mirror image on both sides. You um, pull this uh, flat section, warm it up, staple it on, and then trim. Uh, for the roof, you've got the two diamond shapes, so you can see that the, the it's left it, it's left more or less a diamond shape on the top with a cut down the middle. So that cut down the middle is sealed, and the two the two sides are sealed. So you've got you've got your seven pieces uh, to completely cover your dome with no folds. Um, and you've got one, two, three, four, five tape joints. So it's in some ways it can be more efficient than the beveled frame covering because you're covering three at a time. Uh, on this one, if we look at uh, look at some of the bigger sections, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, we'll cover nine triangles at a time. For other structures, we apply uh, we apply exactly the same principles. We, we break the um, shape of the roof down into the, the largest possible sizes we can get with a flat piece of plastic or canvas. And then we cover that section 
Uh, on this hexagonal greenhouse, you can see that all the joins are like a, um, what would you call it? Like a spider's web, aren't they? All the joins are on these hips. So that the water runs away from the hips and that keeps your roof nice and uh, watertight. Now, if we look at uh, tunnels or another example, you can cover the whole middle section with one sheet of plastic. So then you only have your cuts on the two dome ends. Um, again, I'll be uh, uploading plans, uh, full plans for the uh, Wanger Flange 2 frequency. This, is, this tunnel is made with that same 2 frequency. It'll have the 2 frequency um, plans, covering methods, uh, including polythene and canvas, but more as well, and uh, how to make tunnels out of them. Uh, keep an eye out for that, uh, but I hope you found this useful in some way. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.